Hi everyone, I'm Kristen and this is my wife. Her name is Jenny Owen Youngs. We got married a few years ago, but this is our very first time in bed together on camera. Ooh, that got weird. So Jenny, there were a lot of questions that came in for you. Should I start with an answer or do you want to start with a question? I'd start with an answer. Go ahead. Sweet potatoes. And the question was, is that Jenny singing in the theme song? <laughs> it totally is. It's me singing and playing guitar and programming a kick drum sample. The other piece of this question is how many of your songs are about Kristen? We know one. Getting in, bed, Getting with in bed with Kristen. So how, how many of your other songs are about Kristen? They're dying to know. There are like a few other songs that were at least partially inspired by Kristen. Like like what? Just like this and that. Well, you know what? Let's, let's go to the next question. You're right. From Julie, do you write songs about Kristen? Um, and if you did, what was her reaction? Usually her reaction is like... Usually my reaction to any song Jenny ever writes is to be like, is a song about me? <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, how many and which one of your songs were inspired by Kristen? <laughs> oh my god! I'm a super big fan of your work. So... I'm sensing a theme. You okay. know what? After we're done filming, you should take me back to your apartment and you can tell me which songs are about me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hannah wants to know if we have any tips on how to avoid being eaten by bears. Um, let me, I want to tell you all what Hannah's talking about. This is Queer Sultry Summer. This is one of four literary zines that um, Otto Straddle and Everyone is Gay did together. Queer Sultry Summer came, I'm diverting, but Queer Sultry Summer came with these fucking dress up otters. You just get the otter and you take the clothes and you... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so um, there's a story in here, how I was almost eaten by a bear that one time, which I wrote, but I had Jenny do footnotes on, and it is about uh, the time that we almost got eaten by a bear. And when I say we, I mean me, because the story ends with a bear chasing us and Jenny running away, not looking behind her, and leaving me with the bear. If you want to hear the full story, it's going to be up on Patreon. <laughs> Hannah, if you encounter a bear, the most important thing you can do is run faster than Kristen. This person wants to know, what was music like for you before you came out? Did people ask you about um, coming out? Did they encourage you not to come out? I think early on when I was just starting to, I guess, be a professional musician, whatever, a lot of the people that I worked with had opinions about things. and Like um, people were like, you, we know you're gay, but maybe you shouldn't be. Nobody was like, you shouldn't be gay. <laughs> Not, but I mean, public, publicly. But yeah, I mean, it was like a topic of discussion. It was a topic of discussion, you know, for me too. It was like, not something that I really wanted to be focused on when it came to music. Jenny from Charlie, if you had to pick a song as a theme tune to your life, what would it be and what does it mean to you? The theme song for my life is do 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 To me, it means like, Anybody need a wife? I have one for you. Jenny, um, you didn't do the UK accent thing at the Southampton gig. Maybe mm -hmm. you could do an accent now. I can say literally like a British person or great like a Scottish person or thank you like Adele. <laughs> Morgan wants to know how does it feel to be married to such an awesome woman? Are you sure that question wasn't for you? And what is your favorite Buffy episode? But you can't pick one of the obvious top 10, says Molly. My favorite episode of Buffy that's not an episode of Buffy is an episode of Angel in which Angel becomes human. Can... Which means he can do it with Buffy yeah, in bed. Yeah, they can totally do IT it without him losing his soul. And they like eat a lot of ice cream together and it's very romantic. And then he finds uh, out that in order to continue to do good works and help save the world at a future undetermined time, he has to make it so that it never happened and that he remembers but Buffy won't. She'll it's never remember. It's very sad. It's so uh, sad. This might be a great time to tell you all that Jenny and I are starting a podcast together. Oh yeah. What's it about Jenny? It's about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay, I think we might be ready to move on to Advice Land if you're if you're on board for that. I will I solemnly swear to do my best. Okay. Stormfell wants to know how did you not lose hope that you would eventually find someone amazing after you had had your heart broken for the first time. You are a person, a human being, a miracle of science and nature. Just because you've lost somebody that you really cared about 
doesn't mean that you're never gonna care about somebody at the same level again. And I think that the way that you feel when you lose a uh, love for the first time is that all those people who are talking to you and telling you that you will be able to love again, you will be able to X, Y, Z, you feel like, but you must not have loved like I love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I promise you that is not true. I promise you that the love that I had for the first girl that I ever dated was the deepest of all loves. It was the deepest of all loves. Every love is the deepest of all loves, you know? And your first love is, is something that's different from any other love because because it's your first, because you've never ever felt this way before. Trust us, we're professionals. <laughs> we're professionals at heartbreak. I mean, the question was, how did you not lose hope? I think the answer there is that I did lose hope. Totally. Right? And then you find it again. And then you find it again. And you will, too. Jenny, I have one more question for you. What is your question? Big spoon or little spoon? Wow. So, the most serious question of the uh, episode. Well, I think historically, um, I've been a big spoon. Okay. Over the course of our relationship, I've really grown. Or shrunk. <laughs> hey, thanks for being in bed with me. Thanks for finally asking me. Next time that someone gets in bed with Kristen, it is going to be Brittany Nichols. Who Jenny really wishes, I think, was getting in bed with her. Um, but maybe you'll be here. Maybe, okay, maybe stop I can bouncing. Help. <laughs> maybe I can help. Maybe you can help. Brittany is a comedian. You may know her from her work with Autostraddle. You may know her from her comedy. You may know her because she was on a few episodes of Transparent. What? She's awesome, and she's going to be in bed with me next time. So if you have questions for Brittany, leave them below. We will be happy to answer as many as we can. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, everyone out there. Do 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 do